are sea turtles, you'll want to start out by putting your name on the back of your sea turtle, on the underside of your sea turtle. And then you can paint your sea turtle whatever color you want. I'm just going to paint mine green. And you don't want to do a really heavy coat of paint because you want this to dry pretty quickly so that you can get the, the body woven on it. So just make sure, just put a light coat on here. Get it all covered and then set it aside to dry. And then this, you're going to take a piece of blue paper to make your ocean. And it doesn't really matter, but the paper that I have has this dotted line on one side, so you might want that to be the back. And then on the front, put your name somewhere on it. And for our ocean, we're using a combination of this is shaving cream and glue and food coloring. And the plastic bags will have a hole in them. And you can do anything you want with this. You can make a spiral pattern, you can make waves whatever you want. I'm just going to kind of play around here. When you have your ocean the way you want it, you'll set it aside to dry and then you'll go to working on your turtle. And with your turtle, you'll want to find, decide what piece you want for the head. And I'm going to give my turtle a smile and maybe closed eyes. And then there's my turtle feet. I actually don't really know what turtle feet look like. I can't picture them right now. <laughs> so your turtle feet will probably look better than mine. And then you're going to choose whatever color yarn you want. And you will Tie it underneath, and your first series of yarn is just going to go across from opposite side to opposite side. And the main thing you're trying to do is just get your the body covered. And there's no rules about how to do this. And then once you get this center really well covered, again, there's no rules with this, but 
I, I found a good pattern to do is you go over two sticks under one, over two, under one, over two, under one. And that seems to work pretty well for covering the rest of it. Now, if you want to, you can change yarn colors as often as you want. And the way you do that is just clip off your one color and then, whoops, tie another color in on the bottom. and pick it up again. I'm gonna clip these off here. So under one, over two, Okay, and then when I get to where I want to stop, I bring it over and I'm hooking it under another piece of yarn and tying it off underneath. Okay, and so then when you're done, you'll set the turtle aside and we'll have to wait for your ocean to dry. But then we'll be taking your sea turtle and gluing it on top of your ocean.